Today, I'm going to teach you how to tie an improved Albright knot, aka the Alberto knot. In my opinion, this is the best knot to use when attaching a monofilament and fluorocarbon leader to braided line. I've used lots of different knots, the FG knot, uni to uni knot, and a couple others, but the Albright knot is the best in terms of ease of tying it, knot strength, and it goes through guides really well. Let's get into it. First, you're going to take the leader in one hand, the braided line in the other. Next, you're going to make a loop and just hold a small loop on the leader end. Just hold it between your two fingers, thumb and index. Then you're going to take the braided line and go through the loop, come in from behind, like so. Pull the braided line through, leave about 10 inches, just let it hang down. Now you're going to need to wrap this braided line around this loop around six times. That's one, two, three, and you don't want the loops to overlap. So I've overlapped them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull on the braided main line right here and the loops should straighten out. So it looks like they're straightening out. Like so. Now we need three more. One, two, and three for a total of six. Now I'm going to pull on this main line again just to make sure all the loops are nice and even. You don't want any loops to be overlapping. So you can take a look there. All these loops are perfectly um, in line. Next, you're going to need to pinch that last loop and your leader line with this hand. So how you're going to do that is you're going to hold, you're going to take a placement in your other hand Hold the braided tag in like this down and slide your hand up, these two fingers right here, slide them up and hold that last loop in place just like that. Now we're going to need to go back up six times weaving in between the loops we just made. So we're going to loop around, wrap around six more times weaving in and out or weaving just around these wraps we just made. Let's do it. So here's one, two, two. And you want to make sure it goes right in between. This is going to determine your knot strength and how smooth your knot looks. All right, four, five, and last one. All right, oops, I let go back. So that's five. Last one, you went through the bottom, coming in. So going out, you're going to go through the top. So number six, through the bottom. Now we're going to go through the top. I don't know if you can see it, my hand might be slightly in the way, but we're just going right through the loop, just like that. Just like that. And we're going to grab the two tag end main end on the top and tag end main end on the bottom and just pull everything gently. All right, so it's coming together now. We're going to work it up with our fingers a little bit, just gently working it up. That's pretty good. We're going to clinch it down now. So you're going to get some moisture. I spit on my hand. I don't want to put this line in my mouth. I don't know how dirty it is. And now we need to pull on the on the main ends. So tag ends are showing right here. The main ends I'm holding in my hands. Pull on both ends as hard as you can. But braid is really sharp and cut your hand. So what you want to do is get a rounded object like this wacky tool and wrap the braid all the way around it several times. Now you can pull on the object, this wacky tool, instead of the braiding line and keep your fingers from getting sliced up. So we're going to pull as hard as I can. Get that line to really cinch down. And boom, you're done. That's not right there. You can see how small and compact it is. So all you gotta do left is clip the tag ends, the fluorocarbon end. You wanna clip it as close as you can. You wanna clip it really tight to this knot because that's what's gonna allow it to go through guides really easily. That's perfect. So that's just one smooth piece. And the uh, braided line doesn't really matter. You can leave a quarter of an inch or whatever because the braided line's hard to cut. And braided line goes through guides perfectly because it's so limp. So it's not gonna even matter. There we go. So here's the final product, the Albright Knot. And I'm actually going to show you the version I use because I use a slightly different version. It's pretty much the same. The only thing I do differently is I use, instead of six loops, man, I can't cut this, but there you go. Instead of uh, six loops, I just use four loops. So in the same process, I'll show you how fast I can tie this. Um, grab the leader, make that loop. Come in through the bottom. Pull it through, we'll wrap it around four times. That's one, two, three, and four. Grab the main line, straighten everything out. 
And there's a slight kink in there. Let's see if I can work that out with my hand. Nope. Let's restart. So if you mess up, just restart. And I didn't, I overlapped by accident and didn't work. So one, two, three, and four. All right, that's perfect. Grab the main line. You can see the four loops right there. Same thing, hold the braid down, pinch everything with one hand like that. Now go up four times. One, two, three, and number four, we're going back through the top, like so. Grab it, gently pull, work it down, looks good. A little saliva, my mouth's a little dry, all right, whatever. Uh, that should be good enough, and we're going to clinch everything down nice and tight and show you the strength of the, of the four loop versus a six or seven like they recommend. Clinch it down as hard as I can, pulling it as tight as I can. That knot's not going anywhere. And I'm going to go ahead and clip both ends like this, as same as it before. And if you guys are using braided line, fishing around clear water, a leader can really help you out with giving you that invisibility factor from fluorocarbon, but you can still keep some of the advantages of braid, like low stretch for good hook sets, longevity if you don't want to change that line very often, long and casting distance, stuff like that. And uh, the other, you can also get the advantages of fluorocarbon. Besides invisibility, you get abrasion resistance against rocks, against stumps. All right, I can't even cut this. I'm gonna need news clippers, but whatever. You guys get the point. I tied, all right, there we go. So we'll go ahead and uh, just demonstrate the strength. I clip both ends, wrap it around, pull as hard as I can. That knot is not coming undone. <laughs> can't break it if I tried using 20 pound leader, 20 pound braid, that's not going anywhere. You can see it's a nice compact knot, very smooth, go through guys easily, will not break. I would never, one out of 40 times, maybe I break this knot before I break my knot that connects my line to my hook. So very reliable, definitely a must know knot for tying on leaders and hope you guys enjoyed the vid. Take care.